This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today... Origin Wheel Jack, which I just picked up today. So I rushed home to film the review. And that's fi that figure happens today because of my wife. Because of course we had nothing planned and I wanted to just stay home and play games and you know, do the guy thing, which is nothing. And of course, being a woman, she's like, no, we have to do something because it's sunny outside. And with my skin tone, I don't like outside. But it paid off and she was right. And thank you to my wife, Catherine. I'm super happy to have this now. It's, yeah, couldn't find it in uh, Gatineau where I actually live. I actually went on Merrillville Road in Ottawa. So if you're from the Ottawa area, there's two left because I don't scalp. The scalpers ruin this hobby. Anyway, I just want to thank everyone for being here. Before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, who would have gotten this if this wasn't still an exclusive. Why do we still have exclusive? Anyway, um, DJC, check them out. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. to last a cortex i'm super excited to have this i honestly hate exclusives because they cause so much stress because the distribution when i started collecting with uh, i think it was like end of siege early earth prize and the distribution was so poor i don't want to say trauma but it created some type of trauma that the moment that they say exclusive i'm convinced i'm not going to find it Luckily, Toys R Us on Merivale had it. And then they also had the uh, 86 Blasters. Yeah, I'm definitely happy to have uh, Wheeljack in my uh, collection because it looks like that. It, just like that, it looks great. Let's take a look at the box. You have the beautiful artwork of the Cybertronian mode. Love the whole design, the little uh, spinning drill in front. Legacy United, a nice... Uh, well, that's a thin down uh, uh, version because if you look at all the kibble, yeah, he's pretty uh, pretty well equipped uh, when it comes to backpack and uh, you know weighted legs. But yeah, accessories you have the shield slash ramp that you can I don't know maybe you, there's a way to put it on the backpack, but this is clear plastic translucent uh, purple blue I'm getting I'm thinking it's blue but again not that great with uh, color this could be a little purple and I probably wouldn't notice uh, you know the instructions Legacy United standard stuff that we've seen forever and honestly Hasbro really do have the best instructions so they show you where to put the accessories and that's really all you need right Oh no, there's a a gun. You can make a gun with, well, I guess so. And then, why is there two way to put the backpack? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Looks good. And there you go. Oh, this is everything you can do with the accessory, uh, the shield when he's in also. So, all right. Uh, you have uh, the shoulder cannon, which there's a big peg here. There you go. And the little accessories that I guess you can if you want to make a gun. But they're, I guess they're kind of blast effects. There's the port here. Oh, it's a little tight. Hmm. I haven't played with this yet. This is fresh out of the box. Oh, it's really tight. But you can do this to give him kind of a gun. Of course, hollowness. Come on, Asbro. Stop with the hollowness. Uh, this is clear plastic painted. Silver looks really good. And he comes like this in the box. Uh, but you do have to fold 
the back back end. There's a peg hole here and a little peg right there. And it's it stays put. It's cold. You have the, the wings, the I don't know what, what they call that, but little things he always has in his back. You have his nice color. I like the pearly white. Um, I think I like this more than the Earthrise color, I have to say. Uh, the only thing, I think that's the same uh, white that they've used in the Generation, Generation Select 5-pack. Uh, which was also on Mary on Maryvale, by the way, uh, for the people who would like to have that. He looks, it's huge kibble. Like, I mean, this doesn't clean up nice at all. Um, yeah. And you can see hollowness in the panels. and But the head sculpt is really good. I mean, no problem recognizing Wheeljack right there. Um, looks good. Clear window. I'm actually happy to have clear window rather than that pale blue that they're giving us uh, recently with the uh, more more toy accurate uh, colors. I but I'm hoping Toy Hacks is gonna do uh, something similar than what we have with the Earthrise mold. Uh, yeah. So anyway, all right. Articulation. You have a full rotation here. Okay, this this doesn't peg really well. So it's a little loose, but you know, it stays in place when you don't play with it. Uh, you have, well, maybe, come on, clip, ah, there you go. Uh, because of the backpack, you don't have a full Ferris wheel. I mean, you can move the hands around and you, you'll, you'll get it. Uh, this is a Voyager class, so I'm at least expecting rotation at the hand, which we do. No joint at the hand, though. Uh, you have a rotation on the near the shoulder. Um, bit loose. We have a full merry-go-round, no problem. You have a kick forward, uh, kick back, and you don't get a Johnny Cage, not a complete one. And you have a toe tilt. Oh, it looks like the toe is on a ball joint. Yes, it is. So you'll get a full rotation, toe tilt, and rocker. No problem. All right, so that's articulation. Let's equip him a little more. And uh, maybe not for this. Oh, the backpack. Uh, okay, what did they say? Okay, so just a quick uh, reshoot of this section. Uh, you do have to transform the uh, clear section like this. Uh, basically, when you use this, it's when you want to do the ramp mode. Uh, which I guess I'll show later. But this, basically, you have the two pegs here. You have the two pegs here. And you just clip it here and clip it here. And that's, if you want to do, I don't know, a glide mode. Or a flying mode. I don't know. Oh, actually, he, he can fly because of... We've seen a couple episodes where he's actually flying. So this could be, I don't know, just to help him uh, fly a little further. So here's Wheeljack. We're going to... Put him on the side. He's back heavy, of course, because of the backpack. But he looks really good. But, you know, I bought this for the alt mode. So let's do some quick comparison with Netflix Bumblebee. Uh, just because I didn't want to transform the origin Bumblebee. You know, it happens. Commander Class Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus. And the Earthrise mold. Uh, fully toy hacks with... That's actually an extra gun I had on a Silver Streak. So it's a new head sculpt. The ears don't have the same look. Uh, the head is bigger on the origin one, uh, but it's, you know, they're both really good. And you know, the shoulder cannon is different. Uh, and then the rest too. I like, I really like the colors on this one. I mean, I love the Earthrise mold. Um, and especially with all the toy hangs decals, but this, 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 for the color, I prefer origin. Okay, I'm going to transform this guy. Not on camera. I'll uh, get back to you guys uh, with uh, shorts. Probably the, later this week, I'll have shorts for transformation back and forth. Can't worry about that now. Hey, let's get back to Iacon. And here we are in alt mode. And wow, glad I didn't do that on camera. It's a whole lot of panel folding, but 
it, it works. And to give it the hover mode, you know, you have basically the chest from the robot uh, who extends on clear plastic, so that's worrisome. But you see those pins here on the side here? They're supposed to peg in here, and mine just won't reach. Um, so I think I did something wrong uh, in an earlier step of the transformation. Um, but I, it, it just won't, it won't go. I mean, the head is at the right place. Everything is at the right place. And the feet are as backed up as it, they can be. Unless I missed a step there, but I don't think so. So, yeah, they don't line up. So, anyway, that's, it, it's, I'm guessing it's my fault. But it's weird because everything else lines up. Sure, it's full of panels and holes and, or maybe it's this part here that's too high. Uh, could I have misaligned this? Hmm, I don't think so. Oh, yep, I probably did. All right. Okay, I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. Now, now they're pegged inside. Uh, but I didn't do anything differently. I mean, it's... Or maybe I did and I don't see it. Anyway, sorry guys, this this is unprofessional. But anyway, I just want to show you the ramp. And according to them, being Hasbro, you should be able to take this guy here and put it in there, right? So let's try that. So you want to unfold it like this. Ah, uh, I just might. So you see all the panels, basically you just clip everything over the other. And, huh, well, what do you know? Okay, you can do it, but you can close this. Bumblebee, get in quick! So there you go, that's Bumblebee inside. And every, you, you, you see here all the little panels. Uh, it's super loose clips. Um, bit annoying, but I mean, if you really want, you can recreate that scene. So yeah, all right. So lift the box, get Bumblebee out. It's a pretty cool gimmick, and basically that's you know the transformation. Like you unfold every panel, and there's clips, clips here, here, and then you fold it over with this here. So you have to try to line up everything perfectly. And there you go. With a bit of practice, you do it this good. There you go. You, it's, it's pretty cool. And then you do have the... Oh man, where are my rods? Hmm, be right back. I have found them. Um, yeah. I remember I have the Toy Hacks decals for them too, so that you can put some silver here. And basically you can... Snap. Well, they don't snap. But you can place them here. If uh, you want to. But there's six peg hole and five energy conductor so people with OCD are gonna go nuts like me oh well, that's pretty cool you know that it took two years to be able to you know hold what it, uh, Bumblebee came with you know two years it's not bad all right so let's take those out uh, and then after that you have like I said you have to you know put it this way so that you get the shield cover and I'm guessing it's just a, a matter of putting it over. Oh, there's a little pegs. All right, so there's little peg holes right here. Put it in there. Put it in there, and there you go. You have wheel jack in protected mode. And then you add this and this. Oh, why not? Put the gun too. And there you go. You have your wheel jack in war mode, combat mode, get out of my way seeker mode. And you have his little buddy to fly around with him. But I always use this piece here to lift him up uh, so that he's hovering a little bit more. 
And not, why not add to the mix? Jazz. Wow, they actually all look good together. And I cannot wait for some stickers for this guy. That's gonna come really soon. I'm hoping from Toy Hacks. It's gonna complete the set. And also I have uh, Siege Soundwave. Once I have a, a Legacy Soundwave or maybe a Studio Series 86 Soundwave, I think that's what's coming uh, in 2025 or maybe late 2024. Uh, once I have that sound wave, I'm going to put the Siege sound wave in lamppost mode and put it with these guys. And I think that's it. That's that's what I can show you. Well, there's the ramp. Oh, yeah, why not? So basically, um, how you want to do this, What like because just to play with them and remove them, it's hard. But if you fold it completely, they pop out. And then, oh, the other way. Fold it, pop out. So you don't risk breaking them. And then you plug them like this and this. Oh, the other way. And you can, like they don't clip, right? Or could they? No, there's clips here, but yeah, they're not large enough. So, there you go, that's wheel jack on an Energon road. Yeah, not gonna do that. He's gonna be displayed with the full shield cover pretty much at all time. Oh, see it won't pop out all the time, there you go. And that plastic is going to dry and crack very soon. So be careful with it. There you go. I have to say this looks really good. I do love the look of the blast shield. Looks really good. And then the little spinning thing, they don't spin, but you know, they move. And you know, they're blast, uh, basically be a blast effect. So you could add them to pretty much anything where there's a peg. So yeah. All right. Looks good. It's panel-y though, like it's gonna, unclip once in a while so be careful make sure everything is lined up and you shouldn't have any problem so there you go guys that's my quick review of legacy origin wheeljack because there's no longer a buzzwordy bumblebee origin line so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those if you don't mind go ahead and share the video because youtube is not doing that and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care